art lovers and experts, there could hardly be a more tantalizing prospect than discovering an unknown work by one of the great masters. In this case, it's a small painting recently purchased for $19,000. A small painting that just might be the work of Leonardo da Vinci. Jim Shuto has the story from London. A dirty fingerprint is not what you want to find on a valuable painting unless it happens to belong to a master. For art dealer Peter Silverman, the story began with a hunch that the 19th century German portrait he bought for a Swiss collector two years ago was something much more. When I saw it, my heart beat a million miles a minute. I thought of Leonardo, but I dare not pronounce that name. Silverman took the painting to a lab in Paris, equipped with a camera designed to see under the chalk and ink. He came uh, in, in a motorcycle and uh, he opened the, the top case of the, of the motorcycle and he, he gave us uh, the, the painting. The scans revealed a fingerprint in the top left corner, which appeared to match one on Leonardo's Saint Jerome. And there were other clues. The canvas carbon dated to Leonardo's time, as well as stylistic similarities. You have a lot of uh, uh, palm prints just here because uh, Leonardo, da the Leonardo da Vinci have used this part of the hand to, uh, to uh, change the nuance of light I inside the neck. The discovery of a painting by a master with only two dozen or so known works has electrified the art world, though there are skeptics including the auction house Christie's, which valued the painting at less than $20,000. Christie's told us today the claim relies on unproven scientific techniques, which were not available to us at the time of the sale. Silverman and the anonymous Swiss collector he represents, however, are convinced. But she is mysterious and beautiful. And if they're right, they'll turn a $19,000 investment into tens of millions of dollars, fingerprint included. Jim Shudo, ABC News. London.